My name is Pastor Okoko GI. Uh -huh. uh, and, and what is your position? I'm a pastor, mm -hmm. servant of God. Mm -hmm. And um, by the grace of God, I'm in charge of church blessing, mm -hmm. which is a, a growing body of Christ over here, but it started in the United States okay. of America. So this part of our room, we, we normally gather here. Okay. So I asked a question. Uh, is it good to accept the testimony? Somebody said he saw me. When I was somewhere else, he saw me somewhere else. And I was telling him not to drive so rough. And I said, I didn't travel with you. He said, but he saw me and he was too sure. Then I was wondering if this is of God. I didn't encourage you. So I wanted to know whether it is of God. Uh, a second one was a member of my church as well, a girl or lady. She was sick. And right there where she was lying down, she said, I visited and prayed over her and her sickness left her. Now say this again. That she someone sick, said that. Sick. Mm -hmm. And I came there and I prayed for her. That she was away from you. Yes. You were not in the same I place. I wasn't there. And I then said, she said you came. I described the dress I was wearing, everything about me. Mm -hmm. That I prayed and her sickness vanished. Mm -hmm. I said I wasn't that, at that place, so mm -hmm. how could this happen? Uh -huh. But that, uh, these two things were not as amazing to me as the one that happened when I was preaching. Uh -huh. I was preaching and a member of my congregation started crying. Mm -hmm. I wondered why she was crying. At the end of the preaching, I interviewed her. Uh -huh. She said she saw me initially preaching as I was walking. But all of a sudden, he could not see me again. He could only see the, the Lord, Jesus Christ, walking and preaching. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't help but cry. Uh -huh. To me, it was, it was a surprise. Mm -hmm. But I was told. Yes. So these experiences, I kept asking and wondering whether it is of God. Okay. Now, there are people who experience something similar okay. to what you experience. So okay. this is not something uh, just you. Okay. It's also some other people. But I want to ask you to describe it again. Okay. So uh, you said that um, the first one was um, that you were away. And he was driving on his own. Mm -hmm. One engineer was driving on his own about up to 300 kilometers away from where I was. And he came back and said, I was sitting in the same vehicle asking him not to drive rough. Then I told him I was okay. me. And he was how far away from you? About 300 kilometers. Away. Okay. Okay. Yes. It was a woman. Was it no, a, a man? A man. A man. Yeah. And then he said that he was healed when you he was prayed. driving. He was driving. And I was telling him not to speed so much. Oh, he said that you told him not to speed so much. Yes. And you were not with him. I wasn't there. Okay. Okay. So he he heard a voice or did he see you? He saw me and I was speaking to him sitting in the same Okay. Bed. Speaking uh, to him in the same vehicle, yes, okay? Yes. And then the second one is you. Was sick. Someone was sick. Sick. I was lying down on bed. Mm -hmm. I came there and said she saw me. I came and prayed. And after the prayer, the sickness left. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't there. How this, far away? That's about uh, one kilometer away from me. Okay. One kilometer. Okay. Yes. And what sickness did the person have? Fever. Fever. Yes. And then what did, is it a he or she? She. She. Yes. What did she experience? She said when I came and prayed, the sickness left her. She became healed. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't there. Okay. Okay. And then the third time was when you were preaching. Yes. And the person said, you saw me 
I initially, as I was preaching, just as I'm talking now, so at the stage you could not see me again. My figure was changed. Uh -huh. I was seeing the Lord preaching mm -hmm. and moving. Okay. So I, I didn't see what she saw, but she told okay. me what she saw. Okay. And she was the only person that saw that, right? Yes. Okay. No, I didn't interview any other person. Okay. I did not interview any other person. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful, you know, because there are similar experiences of some people. Okay. Sometimes people saw angels standing behind people, or saw Jesus standing beside someone, yes. and uh, or saw someone came a long distance, but then the person actually did not come. So that's not something Straight. only you experience. I sent him a few videos of some people they were translocated to another place. Really? Yes, there are different like experiences. Like what in the Bible? Uh, oh, Philip, 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 was, Philip was, yeah. Trans sure, I've been yeah, talking right. about that. Yeah, so yeah. Well, with God, everything is possible. Yeah. If what it, people experience is edifying to them, yes. it builds up their faith, yes. and then it should come from God. <laughs> now, let me tell you the one I was reluctant to say. Mm -hmm. It happened to occasions. Mm -hmm. That's why when I stood up to speak about the Holy Ghost, I was emphatic that the Holy Ghost is a person. Yes, of course. He manifested as a person to me. Okay. And I was afraid to share it with anybody because since I became a Christian, nobody thought that they had seen him. Okay, you mean like a person standing there? Yes. I can identify him if I see him. So what kind of appearance? Well, it made me feel confident okay. of the fact that the Holy Spirit is a person. Okay. And after some years, I wasn't praying about it. After some years, he appeared the second time. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, she will tell you the testimony. Okay. Of how she saw me. Before she knew me as a person. Okay. Okay. Saw me before she knew me as a person. Okay. So, now, would you say your name again? Yes, my name is Pastor Okonkwo Gi. Okay. okay. And you are pastor of what church? Deliverance Crusaders Mission. In what place? In Imbolo, Mona in Imbolo State, Nigeria. Okay. And what's your name? Mommy Augusta Iwe. Okay, so, okay, so can you say what happened? This happened on September 2018. 2018, okay. I was in a dream when God... And speak loudly, please. Okay, I was in a dream. You we were in a dream, show. speak loudly. When God showed me that I don't know him before. You didn't know him, exactly. okay. Exactly. Was it clear in a dream? Exactly, exactly. Very clear, okay. Exactly. And then... You pick up his cell phone, right? Exactly, sir. But that day, because my husband died since 2007. Okay. I don't have husband. He lived four children. Okay. Then for that dream, I was crying, okay. asking God, why am I suffering? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then for that dream, God now and now show and now see, uh, saw that day in that dream coming towards me. And asking me, my daughter, why are you crying? Mm -hmm. And I asked, and I told him, Daddy, because the load is too much for me. Mm -hmm. My husband died and leave the children for me without anything. So in that dream, he tried to compensate me in that dream. So he now told me there is no hopeless in God. So when I trust God, God will not marry me as a a, 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 a husband of a widow. Say this again. For that dream, for that dream. Uh, speaking loud. So, in that way to console me, console me, console me in that dream, telling me that. There is nothing God cannot do. Okay. That I should put my trust in the Lord. The God will now marry me as a husband. Uh-huh. 
So, Anna, so God will be your husband? Of your husband. Uh, okay. And I hold him for two legs. To hold, yes, for that to hold him for the, the two legs. Say, I will never let you go until you bless me. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I will never let you go until you bless me. You know, struggle to remove his leg and now hold him for another leg. So that time, in that dream, I was crying. Mm -hmm. They now told me that the Lord said that I should cry no more. Okay. Then, he now carried me. Say, he will now carry me to church. So for that dream, I now wake up. So okay. in the morning, that was the same September. Hmm? The morning after the dream. After, after okay. the dream, I was about to go and see my elder brother. To at, see who? My elder brother at Owens Heaven. To visit her brother, brother at Owens Heaven. Okay. Where I meet daddy taking breakfast. Okay. You met him? Exactly. Okay. And I never knew him before. Okay. Okay. So I now greeted him and I said, okay, madam, how are you? I said, I'm fine. So after he ate finish, he left. So me now, I was like, pass this way, pass this way. The Spirit of God now directing me to the way that I will pass. Not knowing that daddy has said lost for that for entrance of a, 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 a ITC park. I didn't understand what that is. My handset, my cell phone. Your cell phone. I lost my cell phone. Lost. You lost your cell phone. Yes. When? The day she said I, I saw her first. I didn't notice her. You lost the cell phone. My cell phone. This one. Okay, you have to raise it high up. Okay. So. This so time, you you lost your cell phone. I lost this cell phone. So there she said she picked it and she, went home with it. Is that right? You mean the day before? The, before she, her dream? After her dream. After her dream? Yes. Okay. Good. So she picked the cell phone and went home. So I started looking for it. I couldn't get it. I used the second now one. Now where did she pick up the cell phone? On the road. On the road. On the road, on the yes. street? On the street. Outside, okay? Yeah, busy street. Okay. People were passing there. Okay. So I used the second one to call this. Okay. You, uh, you show it. You, you have to go higher up. So you use the second phone uh, to, to call, call the phone that you lost. Yes. To call for this one. Call this lost. one that you lost. Uh -huh. Okay. She picked it uh -huh. and then directed me to where I can meet her to collect this phone. Okay. It was when I went to pick my phone. She started narrating her dream before that day. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you follow it. Sir. Okay. Now. Okay. Now I understand. So. Um, so it's just. Now, you said you saw him. Uh, before you pick up the phone, you saw him in person, right? I saw him in, in dream. Never in a dream. Him. I never knew him. Before. So saw. Okay. Saw you in a dream. Yes. And then on the street, pick up the phone, phone. and then. And then you came to get a phone, and that was the first time that she saw you. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's God working in a miraculous way. Oh my way. God! Yes, <laughs> yes, that's that. Is. And I never knew him. Okay. The time I was picked the phone, I never knew him. Then and I took the phone to my house. Okay. Then, so and I tried to call the, the line for him to come and collect his phone. Okay. The line was not going. The, then what, what, after. Which of the Which one? The, 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 uh, this one. I was the one calling you. <laughs> then after, I was the one calling this long Exactly. Long after two or three in the afternoon, okay. this phone rang. Ran. That is then, when I called her with this. She uh -huh. then had okay. you and called I, me. Yes. And I said, hello. Who am I talking with? He said, it's Pastor. I said, okay, Pastor. I am, I am Mommy Augusta, evangelist Mommy Augusta. I pick up your phone as well. You are evangelist. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We have people moving around. God now said, two men, they want to collect the phone. And I said, no, it's, it's my brother's phone because it's... It, it's my what? I told, I told them that it's my brother's phone. Because if I give you the phone, it will not reach the, the owner. 
But to me, because I am fearing the Lord, the phone will not reach the owner. Without that knowing the owner of the phone. Exactly, without knowing the owner without of the phone. Okay. Are you getting a hint? Later? Okay. Oh, now so, okay. So, I want that that way, the phone now went. And I pick, I say, hello, it's Pastor Konko Jail. I say, okay, I am staring at over the road, Omona. I am the one that pick up your phone. Come and collect your phone. Okay. Okay. And then when you saw him, you realized that yes, was him. Yes, and, and I told him that I, I put on yellow clothes. Yes, when you saw me when I came to collect yes. food. And that dinner told me that he wears first cap and the package shirt. I said, okay. I say I'm standing as over the road, junction there. Come. So, small time bike now dropped him. I now saw the cap as he told me. I now do have You like saw this. the what? I, okay, by the way I dress. Exactly. exactly. Okay. I describe the way I dress. Okay. Because I never knew him. Okay. Okay. So he now came. Okay. Then, I now, he now followed me to my house. Okay. I said, Daddy, see your phone. Okay. He said, let me tell him how much will it cost. Will it cost him to pay me for the phone that I picked? Mm -hmm. I said, no. He will not give me any money. Okay. Maybe you are... I said, Daddy, but... I saw you, particularly yeah, exactly you in a dream last night. Okay. And I begin. I said, God, show me exactly you, because that is God wants you to help my situation. Okay. Okay. So, and I begin ask me that how much will it cost him to pay for the phone that I paid? I said no. I said before you left my house, you will, you will, drink, you bless me. That bless, which God, which will bless me for doing, you will bless me well, physically. Okay. And I say, okay. It's, and I say, me and my family should need that. Let him pray for us. And which he did, he pray for us and bless us. Then I say, I will never let you go until you drink a cup of water to my house. And I want, I buy pure water for you. It's okay. Then I drink and let bless me upon my life. And since then, my life changed. Really? Changed? Exactly. How changed? I never saw her since then. How was your life changed? Yesterday. My life changed because this. I could not do before. Now I begin. My prayer life was high now, okay. and the poverty want to kill me and my family. Say it again. This one. Oh my God! The poverty at the time, hardship, poverty, uh -huh. but that was causing her to cry in her dream. Mm -hmm. As as a widow that not have husband, and my husband died, we should be dead. He mm -hmm. lived four children for me without anything. Mm -hmm. So, but when that day came to my life and pray for me, now things are turning around for good for my life. And then what afterwards? He said after, the, after she encounter physically and after the dream, and she said, oh, bless me in my sleep, in the dream. So physically you will have to also pray for me. That's all I need. I don't need cash for the phone. Mm -hmm. That's how he prayed for her. And so to me down to her family after the prayer from that day. Her prayer life changed, the hardship went away. She was no longer struggling the way she was struggling before. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we How did see it till then except to yesterday? Say it again. Since that time, I've never seen her. You never except saw her? Yesterday. Yesterday. I went to look for her. You went to look for her. Uh, Where did you look for her? After I told you, said, yes, let me go and bring But her. where did you look for her? Yes, that's that's where, did you, where did you go to look for her? Her place. Do you know her place? It's where I got the, the, oh, the phone. Yes. Exactly. So you look for her. Yes. And then you saw her there. Yes. OK, thank you. <laughs> twice. You went twice. And the second her. time you saw her. And then told her to come to the OK, day. OK. Let me ask you, how did your hardship go away? I mean, what happened afterwards that your hardship go away? Since he prayed for me, he prayed for me, things begin to change. Not that it is already all right, but things that are passing through, I, I am no longer passing the, the serious hardship again. Things now begin turning around later for my life. Like what in business? How the breakthrough started coming? Which how, way, yeah. how, in what, what way it is, happened? What means by which God used to start blessing your life after the prayer? He blessed me. God blessed me, number one. He removed 
sickness in my family. Before my children used to seek this okay. uh, hand job, but since when he prayed for me, the sickness disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then again, my prayer life, my prayer life begin now in the after. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so before, much. I feel we feel so gawe, gawe. Gawe? What is it? Yeah. Poor food. It's a poor kind of food, cassava. Uh, powdered cassava okay. is a kind of food. And cassava. Okay. Me and my children, we eat and sleep. But now I can, I can, I can manage buy two cup of rice, three cup of rice. Now mm -hmm. eat better now. She okay. fits better with the family. Okay. Now, good. Because the prayer that is uttered in my family. Because what? Because of the prayer. After, after, the, prayer. Uh -huh. after the prayer. That now, exactly how you got. It seems like you got more income afterwards. So how did it happen? Okay, now income, more income, right? I so you can buy better food. Uh -huh. So what happened? What the business in this event grew? Yeah, that, that started bringing money. In. It is God doing. It is God doing. Can you describe it? Exactly. If I carry small, uh, like pure water, go market, they buy it all. Okay, so you sold water and, and people bought it. Exactly. So you earn more money. <laughs> You, you earn more money. Now, no, you're no. still an evangelist now, exactly, right? Exactly, that's it. Okay, good. Now, thank God. Yeah, anything you want to share? Anything else? Besides that testimony. Now, yeah, related to that testimony. Anything else you want to say more clearly? Any, anything? And the... Uh, in my family, all oh, yeah. No, related to the incident. Related to the incident. It's related to the testimony. Okay, I want God to use uh, you and Daddy to bless me more. Okay. 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 Now, so from the story, I want to summarize again. First thing is miraculous thing when you were very down and weak and exactly. unhappy. Yes. And then you had a dream and saw Pastor and then he prayed for you in the dream. In a dream when he prayed for you, what did you experience? Did you experience something in the dream? Exactly. For that dream, he prayed for me. Not physically again, he prayed for me. Yeah, but in the dream, in, in the, the dream, dream, did you experience something in a dream? Uh, yes, now because what I experienced for that dream, for that for that dream, is manifested physically. Okay, but in the dream itself, did you experience something? I, yes, something left in my Some, life. In a dream. Exactly. Something burdens, some burdens left. Exactly. Okay. Yes, yes. And then the next day, you happen to pick up his phone, yes. and then he called you, yes, and then you yes. asked him to bless yes. you, and you really did receive. Yes. Oh, okay. that's okay. it. Praise the Lord for I that. Love you, now, yeah. I